Hey there, it's Kyle with Dirt Bike Channel. Thanks for tuning in. This is more of the footage from our ride with Graham Jarvis. We got to go on a ride with him back in um, December of 2017, and I've just been slowly putting out some of this footage uh, from that from that ride. Basically what would happen on the second day, this is our second day of the ride, and we would go around and we were just kind of riding around in the Moab area. And Graham would occasionally see something of interest, uh, some sort of rock feature or something, and say, okay, this would be kind of an interesting place to show you uh, a skill. And that's what Graham has done right here. He's noticing this crevice and he's like, huh, I could, uh, we could talk about this crevice and, and how some different ways to cross it. And, and he's, he's thought of a couple of things that he wants to share with us. So what ensues is that instruction. Now he gives us two different bits of instruction here. One of them is how to cross this thing head on perpendicular to it. And he's going to talk about inching down into it and then wheeling through to the other side. And then in a later video, which I'll share, he'll talk about kind of side hilling and bouncing from one side to the next of it and riding up the crevice, if you will. But in this one, he's just going to talk about uh, crossing this crevice, these types of crevices. And it, it's a lot flatter on the GoPro footage here, but he'll talk about a technique that you can use uh, so that you can get over these obstacles, uh, obstacles like this. So let's uh, listen to the master himself, Graham Jarvis. Right now we're running into it and you've just got to lift the, the front wheel across. So if you're wheelie too far and you're on both wheels, it'll tend to stop you dead. So come in on the brakes, just touch the front wheel a little bit lower, compress it, and then pull on the front so it's driving up. So as you're coming in, it's like the wheelie technique, you've got to compress a little bit, but you've got to be on the brakes as well. So it's being able to flip the throttle with being on the brakes at the same time. So front and rear, slight right down, little flex of the leg, little grip, and then there's plenty of grip the other side, pull on the front, and it'll drive up, holding it on the clutch. You know, the thought of approaching something like this as slow as Graham does never really occurred to me, but it, he's such a master. And you watch how slowly he approaches, compresses, and then wheelies over to the other side. Let's see that again. So graceful to wheelie over to the other side and then just come out. So he'll come around and he'll do it again. And this time it's a little bit bigger part of the crevice here. He's going to inch down into it and then at the last second compress and wheelie over to the other side really gracefully. Again in slow motion here. So nice. So nice. So now he's going to give us a little bit more, po a few more pointers and then we're going to have to try this. Yeah, so there comes a point where you can't ride the front wheel in, but you can practice. If you're not confident of lifting, just go to the side where it's a little bit easier and practice just running the front wheel in. So you've got to hold it on the clutch. You've still got to pull up a little bit on the front and lean right back. Let me just reiterate here that I'm shooting this on my phone and it just doesn't do it justice. This is a much deeper and steeper crevice than it looks like on these wide angle cameras like you get on phones and GoPros and whatever else. This is a lot more intimidating than it looked. It is a lot more intimidating than it looked and not everyone in the group wanted to even wanted to even attempt it because you didn't want to go over the bars in front of everybody else. So watch him compress and then just ever so slightly just lift the wheel and power over to the other side. Just pulling it up on the engine. Girl doing it at a slow speed quite easy to hit this stuff fast and get through but if you're in a tight situation you've got to lift the front from standstill give it a go so first up is Brandon, and he's actually got a quite a bit of trials, uh, trials riding in his background, and he made it look pretty good. He made it look very, uh, you know, very controlled, although he doesn't quite show the grace of Graham, and, and none of us do. As you can see, some people ended up uh, upside down in that thing. All of us struggled to one, one extent or another. I got Tyler going one way, and I think I'll get Scott uh, this other way. So we'll see Scott come up and then do a controlled little wheelie. This is something that uh, Scott said was he had never even, it had never even occurred to him to come up to something so slowly and then go through it. So here's a couple of my shots. I'll come down into it, creep into it as slow as I dare, and then wheelie out the other side. And I was pretty happy with the way that that, that, that worked. Uh, it was very controlled. You know, you're not slamming through. Uh, you're not hurting anything, and it was just a nice way to get through so you don't like bash everything and, and end up as, you know, plastered on the other side of it. Again, just compressing the suspension just a little bit, popping the wheel a little, getting it over there to the other side, 
controlled and making it through. And I've seen this happen a few other times in my writing as it's come up, and it's been a good little, uh, good little tool to throw in the toolkit there. So hope you enjoy the video, guys.